Right, so you know, as we always break down, that symbols are very, very important, yeah? Because they say a picture tells a thousand words. So now, if I was to put, like, that on the board, what would you say that represents? What, do, what comes to mind? An X. An X, right. Yeah. X, right? Check it out, though. What, can you, what, what words do you use when you use the word X? Let me give you an example. Girlfriend. Yeah, that's what I was going to say about that. Like. Yeah? <laughs> Ex-girlfriend. All right, what, is, what else? Um, X-Factor. Yeah. Um. Right, see, a lot of people will stop there, right? But what about... Is it a target? Is that a target? Mm. You know, like, when, when you want to... X marks the spot. X marks the spot. Oh, so like pirate. Yeah. Okay. See, the more you look into it, yeah. you're going to start to see that this X means cancelled as well, isn't it? Mm. You're cancelled. Your target. And the more you keep going, but if I was to do this now, check this out. What's the difference between that and that? That makes me think of like plus, addition, All right. maths. Plus, yeah. You said addition, yeah. yeah, maths. Okay, what else? What is it though, really? The math signs in my mind. Like that's, that's... No, no, I mean this, the symbol, the symbol. Remember what I'm saying? Like we oh. said, this was, yeah, you're right. You said it's a plus, yeah? But is this, all right, watch this. across see that was that wasn't that obvious to you initially right okay so check this out yeah cross what does cross mean if i cross you you've gone against me i don't know gone against you right yeah. double cross i double cross you you've gone behind my back right okay now this is exactly the same thing mm. all it is is you've just turned it that way yeah yeah now, check this out. The cross represents, they say, forgive my drawing, yeah? Mm. This is somebody on the cross. Someone died on the cross. Mm. They were nailed on the cross and they died, right? G Jesus, as they say, or Jesus, died on the cross. Mm. All right? So, when you go to church, let's say this is a church. Again, forgive my drawings, yeah? It's just for simplicity. Mm. Uh, put a couple of windows in there. And you have a cross at the top. Yeah. All right. And the people inside of here mm. are what? Prison. Mentally dead. Okay. Mentally dead. Mm. Okay. Then we go to the graveyard. And somebody dies and they do this. Mm. Yeah, you see that, innit? You've seen that on the tombs and yeah. stuff. So, you got people that are dead in here, physically. You got people that are dead in here, mentally. mentally. Yeah. Why do we say they're dead? Mentally. Because of the programming. Because of the programming, right? They're not using their own mind. They're just thinking. And then they program to think that someone who died, right? What, what is death? According to what you've been taught or programmed, what is death? The end. The end. I like that. You said, I put in capitals as well. Mm. The end. You know, like at the end of the cartoons, isn't yeah. it? they say, the end. It's finished. Done. Right. So, if you're dead and that's the end and you're gone, how do they still believe that there's a person called Jesus that's still exist if he got to the end close chapter end because today people will tell you jesus is still here mm. and you say to them where they say he's in the what holy you know what the word holy means anyone most people in, in the religions don't even know what that word means i guarantee you yeah 
We'll see in the comments, like before I give the answer, how many people are going to try, in fact, people are going to still tell you what they think it means, yeah? But research it. It means pure. Holy, pure, undiluted, yeah? Ghost. Because when you're at the end, they say a dead person is a ghost. Yeah. But they say he's still here as a holy ghost, a pure ghost. Mm. That's why when you look at the word, that the people that are mentally dead, that believe somebody can die and come to an end, but still exist as a pure oh. ghost or a holy ghost, Use something called what? The Holy Bible. Bible. What does the word holy mean? Pure. Okay, what does the word Bible mean? I'm not sure. Okay, the word Bible is derived from the word Babel. Mm. Do you know what Babel means? No, but it makes me think of like Babylon. It does. It actually comes from that word Babylon or Babylon. But Babel in English means someone who's just talking, babbling. Okay, yeah. They're just babbling. So you're talking to someone, it's like they ain't talking sense because they're mentally dead mm. and they're just babbling. And then the word Bible comes from the word Babel or as you said, Bab, I'll put it over here, Ilion. Because Ilion, Bab, or Bab, Bab Ilion which is the Sumerian, when you start to get into the Sumerian doctrine, where the, word, the Holy Bible was taken from, right? Ilion, or Ilion, Ilion El, is the most high God of the Sumerian doctrine. Mm. Or the, and like you said, they said Babylon. Yeah, Babylon. And then you hear people, my spelling might be a bit off, but I think that's correct, Babylon. Or by this book was written by a person called Bill. Mm. By Bill. By Bill. Now, the word Bill is very important, in it, especially in the English language, because the person who co-wrote the Bible is William Shakespeare. Mm. And he actually co-signs it in the Bible. I think in the, um, if you've counted like 46 lines down and the 46th word, um, I can't remember the chapter, but I'm sure people will tell you it's, William Shakespeare, because the word Bill, if you're American, you might not understand when I go, the old Bill. Mm. Who's the old Bill? The, pol the po police. Mm. The old Bill. Yeah? And you might need some more space. Let's go up here. Right, so I'm just kind of make a bit of clean space. I might, hey, I might have to wipe it, but I need to keep it so people can kind of connect the dots, yeah? Mm. The holy Bill, or we say the old Bill, the old bill is the police. Yeah. Because when you start to deal with where the, the system that they use to enforce the, the spell, right? Again, spell. Because the word spell is all to do with words. Because you say we add an ing and the s plural for spellings. Because the words confuse people especially if you don't know the language yeah mm. so you're not seeing how the spell is being casted so when you say the old bill you're dealing with the what they call the penal system mm. and i'm gonna i'm gonna tie it all in now the penal system the word the p you said paul and pope just now yeah you were you were right because the there's something called the five P's, yeah? Let me just move this out of the way a little bit so we can get a bit more. No, I can come up. Right, the, the, um, the penal system is part of the five P's of... Penal deals with, like, police, as we were saying, yeah? The P, police, penal system, yeah? Like you said, Pope. Pope, because the, the, the holy... Bible comes from the Catholic Church because it was originally started with the person they referred to as Paul. Mm. Yeah? Keep keep note of the P's. Yeah. Because when you're dealing with 
these P's, or we call them the five P's, is, is coming from something called the Code of Hammurabi. Right? People can research this, research this, code, the Code of Hammurabi, because that deals with what they call the five P's, which is dealing with the polytheism. Polytheism is like this having more than one god and religion. Um, then you have, um, I already said, the penal system, polytheism, um, psychology, um, philosophy. Um, what's the other one? Have I said five? Penal, psychology, philosophy, pantheism, mm. and um, polytheism, right? So those are the five Ps. And this is why it's used to enforce this, this what people call the 666, which is dealing with what they call the mark of the beast. Because when you look at this word pope, if I was to write that E like that, you can actually turn the P upside down and then... So you have like P, if you turn that like, invert it. Yeah. And if you look at the, the, the E, that's kind of a six as well. Yeah. Um, you know, people like, I think they're going to think conspiracy theory. But when you start to go into it and look at it, it's all because this cross, check this out. They say the whole story about Jesus dying on the cross, they call it what? A cruci... Fiction. Yeah? yeah? What you hear is fiction. Mm. It's a lie. It's a story. It's not true. So it's really the cross, the cross fiction. Even though they say crucifixion, why? Because it didn't happen. It didn't really happen. He, nobody was crucified on a cross called Jesus that removed the sins from the world and now everyone's still sinning anyway. And this is what we call the spell. So just starting with two basic symbols. Yeah. Um, like when you look at it that way as a cross and you look at it that way, you might not recognize it, but check this out one more before we round off. Now, same, same thing again, but just imagine, yeah, I take the ends and I turn them. So I just bend, bend the ends a little bit, yeah? So imagine I took the end and I just snap that one that way, snap that one that way, snap yeah. that. Now, what is this? Nazi symbol. Nazi symbol. Yeah. See? The SWAT sticker, that's what they call it. And when you start to look at who was pushing that symbol? Hitler. You, Hitler. Right, there you go. Hitler was influenced by these Pleiadians from Aldebaran, called, you know, the, the, the extraterrestrials. And Hitler was actually a reincarnation of one of the 200 fallen angels called Hitler, spelled like this. See, the English language again, right? The R, E-R, mm. you can still hear R. Because the vowels in the English language, when you study it, are all A. That's why you can take any word that has A or, 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 or A, E, I, O and U. Yeah, these are vowels, yeah? yeah? Any one of these can replace the A. But you might not know that. Yeah. You know, so let's give a few examples. So if you took a word like... Um, uh, min, yeah, mm. or ah, uh, men, even ah, uh, mean. Mm. Um, all of these words actually come from the word ah, uh, mun, because mm. the, the you can see the vowels being replaced. Yeah, a i e. And this is why at the end of every religious, or well, the monotheistic religion's prayers, in, say, they say Amen, or even Amen in the Hebrew. Mm. And the thing is as well, yeah, these can be spelled differently. Like 
with an E or, uh, or I. Let's say, for example, the word Elohim, yeah? Everyone hears that. Mm. Elo. And you can spell it like this, Elohim, or you can spell it, or Elo, as some people say, Elo, and you can spell it like that, Elohim. See? Elohim. Sometimes I want to wipe everything off. It's just, it's like you feel like you should just wipe it off. But I want to leave it because when it we up, right? summarize the video, yeah. you can kind of see how it all adds up. So these Elohims, because mm. the word I am in the Hebrew is a Yod and a Mim, right? Which makes it plural. Mm. And so you have Elo. Yeah, I'm going to come up over here, but I need more space. So does like, the spelling change the meaning of the word? Yes, okay. exactly. And this is why people are lost because of the spellings and they're under a spell. Yes. And if you were to go, right, the, the monotheistic religions being Islam, Christianity and Judaism, mm -hmm. they all say Amen, Amin or Omein at the end of their prayers, mm -hmm. which all comes from the ancient Egyptian deity Amun, because this is where, where it originates from, mm -hmm. because this predates all of these ones. Yeah. Yeah, so, now, English, I'm sorry, um, the spell, now we speak English, but if you were to speak to a Christian who deals with, like, the New Testament, mm. they will tell you that it's in Greek. Mm. You speak to people that, that follow the Old Testament, they'll say Hebrew. You speak to the Muslims, they will say Arabic is God's language, right? Mm. But check this out. If you were to do this, put A... Am I, yeah, can you see that, yeah? Yeah. A, put E on this side, mm. and then you go A, L, you go E, L, then you go Allah, and here you're going to go Elo, and just do a line through them. And then like I said, these are singular, yeah? Mm. And here you can say, Allah, Huma. Again, remember, I say when they're spelt, there could be one M, two Ms, mm. or you can say, um, Alat, Alat. But this, this means um, plural. Mm. And the same here, you can do the same, you say, you know, him. Or as I said before, you can spell it with the E or mm. like, like that. But as you go down, it starts to build a picture of EA going that way, or Ia was the name of one of the sons of Anu, known as Enki. Because mm. you got Enki and Enlil, and Enlil, wherever you see the names that end with E-L, mm like Daniel or Ezekiel or any names of an L, these were the beings that were under the Elo or that being known as um, Enlil. Mm. And all the other sites where you see the words that end with a way, like, or Ja, like Elijah, mm. um, all those were in alliance with Enki because the two brothers were at war. So, and, and they, as I said, are these extraterrestrials that came here to instill this spell on people. And today, a lot of people are throwing symbols that are dealing with being mentally dead in the church because you're being programmed and you're under a spell. The ghost, listen to this, the ghost, where the, yeah, ghost spell. Ghost spell. What do they call it? The gospel. Yeah? But again, they will just say gospel. Mm. But they can't hear it. It's the ghost spell. The spell that you're worshipping, a ghost, who is somebody that was here, apparently, who died on the cross because they say the final breath was... And then it, it left him. Mm. Right? So, they, but they're still worshipping this ghost. And they're in the church calling on ghosts because it's not only Jesus that died and became a ghost. When you have a cemetery full of dead people 
who have ghosts that are roaming around the church, then the people inside here that are mentally dead are calling on these ghosts. Mm. They come in and possess them. And this is where you see them start to foam in the mouth and they, yeah, they yeah. catch the Holy Ghost and they're on the floor exorcism and exorcism and all yeah. of that. You see, so it's a very serious thing and it's a real thing mm. that's happening even till today where they even tell you that um, the day of the Pentecost, right, which is where they say that these, these beings came and basically... Um, that's where it started from. If you go back to the, the books in the books of Acts in the Bible, mm. talking about the, the, you know, the day of the, um, yeah. So this this penta again deals with five. Remember I was saying about the five Ps, yeah. and the pentagram ties into when you start to look at, um, you know, the symbol that they use for Baphomet mm. that they call the goat of Mendez deals with the five Ps. And, sorry, my, my, my star is not that great, but you can see the five Ps. Yeah. Can I ask where the name Baphomet came from? Yeah, actually, that's an excellent question. The word Baphomet comes from Muhammad. Yeah. Mm. And a lot, again, this is what I'm saying, people don't know this, like, because whether you're a Muslim or a Christian, you all fall under Abraham. Yeah. And Abraham is the person that these Anunnaki picked as their man on the planet. Mm. Yeah, so when you say Baphomet, like this is why, if you look at every map, yeah, sorry, every, um, not map, what do you call flag, every flag of a country that the so-called um, beast or the, you know, the system that's running at the moment with the Illuminati, every country, they have a five point star on their flags. Mm. But there are two main stars when you deal with stars, yeah? You have a six pointed star and you have a five pointed star. Mm. So ask yourself, why do all the flags have five pointed stars? Go back and look at any country's flag that has stars on it. You're going to see five point star or a six point star. Because this relates back to the sons of Canaan. I don't want to go off like too much, but the sons of Canaan are these Canaanites that were basically possessed by these beings. And this is why if you add up five plus six, you get 11. Because mm. there were 11 sons of Canaan, yeah, or they call them the Canaanites or the Canaanites. And this is why they all have to have a five-pointed star or a six-pointed star. With the six-pointed star, there are two six-pointed stars. Again, you might not notice that, going back to what we're talking about, the symbols, because you have an interlocking six-pointed star. It'll be hard for me to draw it, but it's the one where you would see that like, this would be over, as opposed to like, the one that you're seeing there. And the interlocking um, six-pointed star goes to the people they call the Jews or Jebusites, really, because, again, that's another trick because they take the word um, Jebusites and say Jew to try and tie in with the word Judah, which was one of the 11 sons, right, but um, of, the, you know, the, tw the tribes of Israel, mm -hmm. the 12 tribes of Israel, what they say, and Judah was one of those that survived. All the rest were destroyed. There were two that were left over, Judah and Dan. But like I said, that's kind of going off topic a bit. But yeah, I just wanted to um, so recap. When you look at a symbol, like a cross, and then you have, say, in the nation of Islam, you know, like Malcolm X. Yeah. They took on these words because they were saying that because they are, like the names that were given were slave names. Mm. So because they didn't know their real name, when they were like waking up, changing their name, they said, instead of taking on the slave master's name, I will just say X for unknown, because I don't know. So this is why you get like, you know, Markham X and all the people that were using the X. But X marks a spot. X is a target. X means you're cancelled. You know, X is like I said, X girlfriend, it's over, X factor. Just the same thing they do when you look at the word, you know, black mm. and white, where they make 
everything black synonymous with being bad or evil and then everything white synonymous with being good or pure yeah. and then say that we are black people even though you can see I'm clearly brown and this is black and then they say other people are white people and they're not white because this is white yeah so everyone is a shade of brown mm. from dark to light but really it's a game trick on these extraterrestrial aliens that are okay why are they doing all of this they feed off of the energy of your what you're doing on the planet mm. so and they recycle you over and over and over again so they can keep feeding off of your energy so a lot of the times the only way to escape it is to be able to rise above that like in terms of your energy field and resonate higher so that you can leave it but if you they keep putting these spells in front of you so you will never elevate past where they want to keep you mm. dumb that so they will give you things like dumb food to eat dumb activities to do everything dumb so that you remain mentally dead because really your mental or your mind is what's going to help you elevate above all of what they the traps that they're setting for you mm. and then you you waste your time you waste your time on drugs and then you and you waste your time on not having a purpose you waste your time being idle which means that you're not doing anything because you're hoping that someone's going to come and what save you. save you and because this person died for your sins so you can keep sinning all day long and then just wait for this person to come and save you mm. that's never going to happen so all that does is, is it's designed to make you again we're running out of space but we fit it in idle yeah I'm a, I'm a, when I explain things, I scribble. I like to, I'm a, I'm a doodler, as they call it. It's just like idle, mm. sorry, ideally. But then they play on words and say idle. Again, remember the E, A, E, I, O, U. This is so important when you study languages. See, the E and the O mm. can to change, right? So they make you idle, meaning you're wasting your life and wasting your time. You're going to like feel like, oh, the world is so bad, I can't get anywhere then you might start drinking alcohol or smoking reefs or like, do you know what I mean? Taking harder drugs. You don't care about anything. You get, you know what I mean? Just want to be on road, be a bully, just mm. waste your life. And then you could end up in jail or end up in a hospital where they, all they're doing is being what? Hospitable to you. They're not there to cure you. It's just like, they just deal with the system, um, the symptoms, which means they just put a plaster on it. Because the whole point of that industry is that if we give you a cure, you don't need to come back. Yeah, yeah, I still need to make money off you. Right. So the pharmaceutical industry and all of these, they're just about making you feel you're better, but the symptoms are going to re-emerge at some point. Mm. So I'm saying that to say that they keep you dumbed down. So when you die, you haven't elevated. You just come back again and again and again and again until you come across Wusabat. Mm. <laughs> Wusabat and OSM Vision like share subscribe of course we wake you up because we like we open your real eyes listen to the word realize real eyes realize you have to realize that but you can see real and you can spell it with a see again the i and the e remember what i said about the i and the e mm. they say realize but the real eyes open your third eye, mm. pineal gland. Now you start to think and elevate higher because now you're like, hmm, I see your games. I see the tricks. I see the spell. I see what you're doing. So I'm going to change my diet. Mm. I'm going to start using herbs. Mm. Yeah, because I don't want to go to the pharmaceutical industries because the pills they give you are made from the herbs anyway. Yeah. So why, why are you not going to take the real herbs? Yeah, you start to relax. You're not stressed. Mm. You're not trying to, un, you know what I mean? Um, unlive yourself because now you're depressed. You ain't got no money because the system's all down and you're in the matrix. It's designed that way because then you rely on the system to feed you, to give you everything. Then they don't feed you. They give you poison for food to keep you sick so that you can keep, yeah. So yeah, I hope that's kind of, I know it was a lot, but sometimes, see, this is another thing. They tell you, you go to the univer you go to the university, right? Mm. What do you learn in the university? 
What kind of more course you're studying but you get a degree or a master's or a bachelor's? Listen to that. You get a degree, mm. right? University doesn't teach you about the universe. Mm. But this is obvious. Universe. You're supposed to learn about the universe, about everything, how the planets work, how, where do you come from, origins of life. Like you said, they give you a degree, one. One degree, yeah? Mm. A degree. Right. How much do the Masons get? How much degrees do they get? 350 or 360. Three degrees, yeah? Oh. They give you three degrees. Okay. Right? There's a lot more degrees. They're, they're known as honorary degrees, right? They go to 33, right? Let's say. But, like you just said, you're smart. You're a smart young man. Let's just, just look at that a little bit. You just said A degree, right? When you study about the sciences of the universe, this is what this circle represents, yeah? Mm. How many degrees does a circle have? 360. 360. Very good. So what, you're getting one degree at university where you're meant to be learning about the universe, yeah. but there's another 359. And that's just dealing with the physical world. Mm. Yeah, I should have really done a square, but the square deals with the physical world. And that deals with what they call the spiritual world, right? How many degrees is a square? Yeah, yeah, I was going to challenge in your maths. Huh? Same circle. Oh, 360. 360. <laughs> I know it took a little while because this is what I'm saying. We're meant to learn maths because yeah. maths is a science, right? The reason it's 360 is because you have what? 90 490 degrees. degree, yes, yes. 490 degree angles. Now, both of them are 360, hmm. but they look different. So it's an illusion because you're thinking, oh, that's 360. Oh, how? Because remember, 360? Yeah, yeah, but it's mathematical because. There are things that are seen and there are things that are unseen. Mm. But when you put the physical world and the spiritual world together, you add these numbers up. So you end up with what? 720. 720 degrees. So really, that's, what, that's how many degrees you should be getting. Yeah. But you get one degree at university. And you come out, you think you're all that. But the, the one degree they give you is so you can come and be what? A slave and work in the system. Mm. You do a nine to five and you're just... You know, you're on the treadmill mm. or the rat race or whatever they call it to keep you dumbed down because you don't think about elevating past that. And you add these up, as you, you know, we always do maths, numerology, you get nine. nine. Seven plus two plus zero, right? Nine. Why nine? Because nine is the highest number. Mm. Nine to the ninth power of nine. Nine ether. So this is what we do with the science of Wunuap or the science of Wusabat is... Nine ether, mm. trying to give you 360 of the spiritual world, 360 of the physical world, but it's all down to you how much of it you take in. Mm. Now, a lot of people get excited when they first come across Wu Sabat. Wow, the eyes are open further, yeah. And then it's now to do the work. And after a while, a the buzz, long, you know, like, yeah, it's long, you know, I've got to read all these books, yeah. I've got to stop eating this, I've got to stop going parties and doing all that. No, Going parties, but like those parties. Party drugs. Party. Yeah. That's what party is, a part. The new series of Ask Us Anything is coming. Yeah. And if you've been studying and digesting all this information, we've what been, we've, yeah, you should have questions so we can raise your bar, raise the, the mind to higher questions. Because Dr. Malachi Ziyuk, the master teacher, he's got 700 or 76 trillion years of knowledge to share with us. He is a 720 degree being. He has mastered the physical as well as the spiritual. Mm. That's why he can take questions on anything. And that's why we as student teachers of the master teacher, we've absorbed a lot of what he's taught us. None of what I'm saying comes from me. Like I had to study, I had to learn, I had to read the books and I still am just like many of his students, but we're still students. He's here to take you and transform you back to that supreme being that you once were, that you've forgotten because you've been dumbed down, you see. So that's what Wusabat is about. Wusabat is not a joke, like, it's real. That's why we're like, put us against anyone. And like, do you know what, we've been doing it for so long and we are here to what? Uplift humanity. Mm. Yeah, this is not a joke thing. This is for everyone 
And anyone who can stand against the truth, who's willing to learn and study and awake, that's why we have all the symbols covered. Yeah. If you, those who know, and that's what we're talking about, symbols. When you look at symbols, one symbol can tell a thousand words. A, a picture can tell a thousand words, as they say. So study that picture clearly and you see what you see is a craft. This being has come on a craft and has come here to set the record straight on everything. Whether you're Muslim, you know, Christian, Jew, Rastafarian, you know what I mean? And anyone, anything that you've got because no one on the planet right now can contain with this being. Mm. And that's why he's here. He's here to change the whole planet from the vibration of the negativity from these extraterrestrials that are fraud, as I've said many times, passing themselves off as gods. And some of them have actually been arrested. That's on a higher level, like we do with galactical law and stuff like that. They've been arrested, like um, one being called Ashtar, because he's from the Ashtar Federation, the people that were in contact with Hitler, yeah, um, Pleiadians, and they are the ones that gave him that idea of trying to create you know what I mean, the Aryan race or the supreme race. Yeah. And um, he went about trying to create the blonde hair, blue eyed yeah, being, who the being they push as Jesus is one of them. Mm. And that's why they push that because they have you worshipping these beings. And one of them is Yahweh, but I'm not going to go into that today. Yahweh or Jehovah. Mm. Yeah, like these beings, they're, they're like normal extraterrestrial beings that have come here and had many people hoodwinked. Yeah, so symbols are very important. Look at a symbol, study it, come out of that mental dead place, mm. or you're going to end up in that spiritual dead place. There you go. Rahul Bat, or greetings. I'm Saken from Ask Us Anything, where we like to have great conversations, dialogue, and reason. Um, you know, each one teach one. So if you're someone who would like to come and have these conversations, um, send us a video asking three questions so we can get a feel for what, um, you know, what you want to talk about. And, you know, we're in Croydon, Nashat, 101 Church Street. Um, and we've had great conversations with different people discussing all kinds of topics. And we'll be really, you know, looking forward to speaking to anyone who wants to come and have a one-to-one -one um, and have a yeah and have a conversation about anything so yes if you would like to do that the link is below send us a video um, with yourself asking me or us three questions and then we will get back in touch